Wisdom shines in talks with Sri Ramana Maharshi. My comments bring this profound wisdom into your experience. I'm Richard. Welcome. I'm reviewing and commenting on the book Talks with Sri Ramana Maharshi. Today is talk 245. Maharshi, a woman with her necklace round her neck imagines that it has been lost and goes about searching for it until she is reminded of it by a friend. She has created her own sense of loss, her own anxiety of search, and then her own pleasure of recovery. Similarly, the self is all along there, whether you search for it or not. Again, just as the woman feels as if the lost necklace has been regained, so also the removal of ignorance and the cessation of false identification reveals the self which is always present, here and now. This is called realization. It is not new. It amounts to the elimination of ignorance and nothing more. Blankness is the evil result of searching the mind. The mind must be cut off root and branch. See who the thinker is, who the seeker is. Abide as the thinker, the seeker. All thoughts will disappear. Questioner, then there will be the ego, the thinker. Maharshi, that ego is pure ego, purged of thoughts. It is the same as the self. So long as false identification persists, doubts will persist. Questions will arise. There will be no end of them. Doubts will cease only when the non-self is put an end to. That will result in realization of the self. There will remain no other there to doubt or ask. All these doubts should be solved within oneself. No amount of words will satisfy. Hold the thinker. Only when the thinker is not held do objects appear outside or doubts arise in the mind. In this teaching, Ramana Maharshi uses the analogy of a woman searching for a lost necklace to illustrate the nature of the self. The woman, in her forgetfulness, creates her own sense of loss and embarks on a quest to find the necklace. Ramana draws a parallel between this self-imposed search and our quest for the self. He asserts that the self is always present, whether we actively seek it or not. The analogy extends to the joy the woman experiences upon finding her lost necklace. Similarly, the removal of ignorance and the cessation of false identification lead to the realization of the ever-present self. Ramana emphasizes that this realization is not a new experience. Rather, it is the elimination of ignorance to reveal the timeless truth that was always present. He then addresses the pitfalls of searching the mind, describing the resulting state as blankness. Ramana advocates for cutting off the mind entirely, urging you to investigate who the thinker and seeker truly are. 
by abiding as the thinker or seeker, all thoughts dissolve, leading to a state where the ego, purified of thoughts, aligns with the self. A question arises about the persistence of ego even in this purified state. Ramana clarifies that this purified ego is synonymous with the self. He highlights that doubts persist as long as false identification continues. Only by putting an end to the idea of non-self can doubt cease, resulting in the realization of the self. In this, there is no external entity to doubt or question. All doubts are resolved within yourself. Ramana Maharshi's teachings underscore the importance of self-inquiry, eliminating false identification, and understanding the nature of the ego. The emphasis on holding on to the thinker and resolving doubts within oneself encapsulates the essence of Advaita Vedanta and the path to self-realization. So, inquire, know yourself, and be always free and at peace. These videos bring Ramana's teachings into your direct experience. Click subscribe to see more. Click thumbs up to like and send questions and start a dialogue with a comment.